You can input dry parry by pressing or holding medium punch and medium kick at the same time, but you can hold one first then hold the second after to get it after recovering as long as they're both held down at the same time, or use the macro. It parries lows, mids, overheads, cross-ups, strikes, and projectiles. Costs about half a dry bar to execute. Parrying from a crouching state costs slightly more than from standing. When tapped, it has an 8 frame active window, but it can be held as long as you have drive meter. It costs 50 drive meter per frame when held, which turns out to be about 3.3 seconds per bar after activated, making it significantly better than tapping it repeatedly. It does not change the advantage or disadvantage on blocks, so don't expect to take a turn just because you parried. But it does turn you from losing about a third of a drive bar into gaining a full bar, which really becomes half a bar since activating parry costs half a bar, but it becomes much better when held down against multiple attacks. It is good against projectiles for the same reason, but you gain half a bar instead and have your knockback cut in half. Parrying Strikes has the pushback split evenly between both characters instead of sending just the defender back. Some gapped pressure sequences only work against crouching opponents, so since parry alters the knockback, it can work like you're standing and lead to whiff punishes while not risking getting hit low. Parrying Supers gives you two bars, and Parrying Drive Impact has much lower pushback, no stagger, and also gives you two drive bars. But Parrying Drive Reversal only gives one bar, like a normal or a special. When you let go of parry, you can block in the recovery frames, but if you block incorrectly high or low, then it becomes a punish counter. It's good for defending against mix-ups, especially from Drive Rush or an Oki, but it loses to throws. Getting thrown out of parry gives a punish counter that makes regular throws do 20%, give a hard knockdown, and take away an extra drive bar. Command throws also get a damage boost as a punish counter. After successfully parrying, you can go right into Drive Reversal. You can cancel into Drive Rush from the third active frame and past, but to get the three frame Drive Rush consistently, input the dash with the parry instead of after. Perfect parry works on the first two active frames. It cannot be buffered by holding it down, it has to be timed. Perfect Pairing has a 1 frame recovery and prevents the opponent from cancelling their attack, giving true punishes. Holding down a button during this freeze auto times it to come out as soon as possible when the screen freeze ends. It is fully invincible for 6 frames after the screen freeze, and you can cancel into anything except for Drive Rush. Perfect Pairing Projectiles puts you in 11 frames of recovery with no screen freeze. When trying to parry projectiles, always block or you could risk being punish countered. After Perfect Pairing a projectile, you may be able to get a punish, but it's pretty specific. It gives the same meter as regular parry. It also gives 50% damage scaling to any punish, even if you delay it. It may be better to optimize combos around corner carry or drive impact instead of damage. Perfect parrying jump-ins is difficult, but nice for punishing them if you couldn't anti-air in time. You can try to regular parry jump-ins to build more meter or avoid getting hit by a cross-up, but they may try to throw you after landing. But you can actually tech during the recovery of parry if you successfully parry something. It's better if you slightly delay the tech, especially while crouching, to avoid getting hit by a frame trap or low. And if you commit to the parry and they commit to a string, you'll build a lot of drive meter. Thank you for watching.